Hey friends, Vinyl Community, Wes here. Just uh, wanted to drop in and do a quick thread response to uh, uh, Guess I'm Just a Spud Boy. Uh, one of these days you're going to have to explain that name because that just is a hilarious name and I don't know what it means but I think it's pretty funny and I, I uh, chuckle every time I see it. But yeah, you had a, a, a 175 subscribers thread. Uh, congratulations. Uh, I really enjoy watching your videos. Uh, uh, really knowledgeable about music. You have a lot of different tastes, a lot of different styles, and uh, you're just uh, genuinely enthusiastic about everything. And I, I'm really, I, I really get into that. And it, it's really fun to watch your videos. So uh, thanks for making them, and I hope you get a lot more subscribers. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this thread. Okay, the first question you had was uh, show a favorite album cover uh, featuring a guitar. And a few things came to mind, but one in particular that came to mind, which is something I haven't, I haven't even listened to yet. It was over in my overstock. I had to go find it. Um, yeah, this is a Bebop Deluxe's Sunburst Finish. Uh, something... I love I love sexy album covers and um, I just the guitar is on fire and this person is inside of a uh, some sort of glass or plastic cylinder and uh, completely nude and I just I don't know I just love this uh, I love this cover like I said I haven't listened to this yet I don't know I've heard good things about it but I don't I don't I don't know anything about it myself. Um, but yeah, that's that's definitely one that came to mind that I haven't showed uh, in a while. It's like when I picked it up, I showed it, but I haven't talked about it yet. Yeah, just really cool album cover. Um, and uh, I really enjoy that one. So that's my response to the first question. Second question is uh, favorite guitar-based record, and I thought about this and thought about this and thought about this and I don't know it's hard to pick just one um, so I picked uh, Jimi Hendrix experience Star you experience uh, just this could be any Jimi Hendrix album I'm holding up now just because I think he's the best there is or there was <laughs> um, yeah I love I love anything Jimi Hendrix. He can he can play guitar like like nobody else, and so that's what I chose for that question um, number three, I guess. Oh, I did not pull this one. Let me go pull this one. <laughs> Now we're back. Question number three is you wanted us to pick out what we thought your favorite al guitar based album cover is. And I'm going to have to pick Boston self titled, which that way is spaceships. And this way is flaming guitars. I don't know, is that it? Certainly a cool album cover with guitars on it. And. Okay, question number four, recommend a guitar-based album to you, and this was another difficult one because, well, I've seen your collection, and it's it's rather large, and uh, it'd be hard to pick something that I think you don't have, but I took a shot at it anyway, and what I came up with is the Notting Hillbillies. This is a group uh, put together by Mark Knopfler, and it's... It's steel guitar based songs, but you know, sort of very, very mellow Mark Knopfler style. I and mean, it's clearly Mark Knopfler when you hear this. Um, but it's also a little uh, very soulful and bluesy, and uh, just some really cool songs. And this is something I found at a Dollar Tree years ago on cassette, and then I bought the CD, and then. Uh, Oh, sometime last year I decided, you know, I really want to have this on vinyl, so I 
went online and found a, a used copy of this on Discogs, I think, and bought it. And this is a really cool album. This is the only album they ever did. Um, uh, the Nodding Hillbillies. It's called Missing Presumed Innocent. Or, no, Missing Presumed Having a Good Time. Very cool. So I definitely recommend that. If you haven't heard it, uh, give it a shot. I think you would like it. I think anybody would like this this stuff if you like Mark Knopfler. Um, so yeah, and there's one more, one little last thing I have to do here. Uh, let's see. Here it goes. Metallica plays ESP guitars and Tama drums because they want the best. Oh, wait a minute. That's not it. Try this again. KISS uses Gibson guitars and Pearl drums, if only they could play them. Oh, damn it. Okay, third time's a charm, we'll get this right. KISS uses Gibson guitars and Pearl drums because they want the best. Cheers.